Hey, hey, it's your girl Andrea. It is bright and early. I've been outside since before the sun came up, which is really weird. <laughs> but it is salad chopping day. So we are feeding, doing chores quick. Um, we're gonna start opening up the field in about a half an hour. I see the neighbor is feeding as well. So he also has to feed his cattle. Um, they're gonna open up the field with Nathan first. That's kind of a, an act of, it's just a balancing act, to be honest. Like, you'll see. But, so yeah, we're doing chores quick. Getting this open so we can feed everybody. Then we'll have the party started. So, follow along if you want to watch Silas Chopping Adventure. Robert's here. Ready to rock. We're going to start opening up at the 99.91 point. See what the 107 looks like. Chop whatever is the best moisture content. We gotta get end rows off first so we can pile up. But thumbs up! We're gonna go hook. What? Oh, Jersey's jumping somebody. Cows, the cows. You're fine. Uh, we're gonna hook this thing up and go get going. It opened up. We'll get the semi rolling a little bit. But yeah, are you excited? So excited. <laughs> this is Lexi. This is my friend. She's here to visit. Unhooked and Lexi got footage for you as I was very stressed. Uh, hopefully now I'm watching the thing closely, making sure we a good start to silage, but I got lucky, so we're good. Um, here comes Nathan with the truck, but how's it going? Oh, great. Just hanging out? <laughs> Could have been worse. Big old truck. Texting and driving. What are you doing? Pretty snapchatting and driving actually. It's getting wild. So we got two of us something right now. Pile's actually getting pretty dang tall. But between the four-wheel drive and the blade tractor, it's going pretty well. 
Knock on wood, stays that way. Salvage is pretty much perfect. She's getting a little bit drier sitting here though, just from the wind and stuff, but. Get it, dude. Do you want to ride? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh oh. <-ohs. laughs> I don't know what we got going on. Today, there's corn. It's drier than a lot. Of when there's little breakdowns because it gives them a chance to properly pack that thing too. I'm getting a whole lot of nothing on this video. shorter this year though so it should be easier but last year you couldn't see the chopper at all. So you'd guess and be like north or south and I was always wrong, wrong. and I had to go nah. <laughs> and I'd always end up like behind him but then like he'd get to here and I'd have to like, turn around or I'd be on that end and it wouldn't quite get to me. It's like, so close. Yeah. The drone up in the air and the birds are like what the heck like she's learning to drive the, the drone and we're going in this is terrifying <laughs> it looks good look at that you'll see her footage it's so fast it's not even in sport mode you should see how fast it goes when it's in sport mode you're doing so well thanks as long as it crashes somewhere it's not gonna get ran over it okay <laughs> Trip on the east side, if I have another 
I pass with maybe left going on the west side of the field. So we are tapping 60 acres or so, so we have about 1,500 times since we do have some extra. And we are, see, I remember what I'm talking about now. Um, we are not going to feed syrup anymore, so we're chopping some extra silage, and we're going to up, not a lot of extra silage, I guess, kind of same as last year, but we have the extra pile. We're increasing the silage in our rations and getting out of the syrup, because we are, the only thing we can figure out this calf problem we had um, is that it was the syrup. So in order to have the feed more palatable, we're going to increase silage, and also silage is cheaper than buying grass hay. And they can feed some less corn stalks and stuff um, with the lovely drought that we're in. So, so we'll get the cows up here. Those like a TMR. They can eat some of like the corn and stalks on the ground. But then we can weed the calves. The cows can get some exercise to help with birth weights, especially the first half the first of this next year. So then the rest of the 07 to 807 day variety over there, we'll chop some earlage there. Then the rest of it will just become corn for corn. Or then we sell it or we feed it. Like the other. Time of your life. Ready for nappy? Best time of your life. Best time of your life. Best Labor Day I've ever done. Best Labor Day. So we're laboring on Labor Day. There's some, uh, I don't know if we had a little bit of root worm in here or if it's the combo of that and a little bit of wind we have in a storm. There's some spots where the like, corn is like that. So but this field is corn on corn. If you watch the video of, uh, oh my gosh, we're planting more corn or whatever, I captioned it. I'll that was this field. Um, but. Final countdown. There's a good old pile. She's getting pretty big. But we're nearing the finish line, so it's good news. So we're gonna do a couple more um, passes here, probably just down and back, and then I think we're at our 1500 ten. So it's going well after the mishap. So for that, we got our two strips for the adjuster to come take a look at it. But got her done. It's like three o'clock, so not too shabby, not too shabby. So now we're into the 107 day corn just a little bit uh, to finish up our 1500 ton. So she's looking a little better. It's a little droughty right there, but over here is looking pretty good. But we done. She got taller. Open her up. That oops is feedlot heifers and he and we have three bulls in there so she's been having a grand old time today. It's a little bit toasty outside, but that's what it's like. Um, it can be worse because it's not humid, but it's wild because you can watch it all just dry out really fast in front of your eyes. Did it, folks? About 7:15 to 3:20 or so. So not too shabby. Had a few tractors overheating and had to cool them down, shut them off, and blow radiators out. But otherwise, it went went well. So it's a good time. But if you have any questions, let me know. Till next time, see you there.